Alright, we're gonna try this again. Staying away from that car this time. Still coming. Oh shit. Save here so just in case I don't have to go through that crap again. Switch weapons. Let's repair this. Maybe I won't get wrecked by those mines this time. There's one.
this guy at? Oh, he's up further. I should be able to get a sneak shot on him. Let's see if I can get him without Argoing him. Maybe. Gotta be very quiet here. Still forgot all there there's these live mines all over the place here. And of course that one got me. There's another one. Got it. Get this one, I should be good. See if I can get in there this time without the game crashing. Yay! Nothing, nothing. Ooh, what's this? Looks like Menta, Mens, uh, 32 caliber round. Well, there we go. Take all this. Oh, I see the safe. Bottle caps, money. Don't need whiskey. What else we got? Dirty toilet. Back here. Don't need a pilot light. Oh, I'll take darts though.
thought there was something else in this house. Looking for the mayor or the sheriff? Got something to sell? <laughs> How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? I got through the minefield alive, and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Oh, disarming it's real easy. Just jump up and down on it. You go first. Do you think I'm an idiot? I may yes. be a little impulsive, but not an idiot. I'll just take a look at this on my own then. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. I have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Is the first chapter done yet? It definitely is. I'm trying to put that same great sense of humor you've got into the book. Keep it up, and it'll inform and entertain. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. I guess I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? I guess tell me more about these mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. I don't know if handing weird chemicals is really safe. What's it worth to you? Don't worry about the chemicals. I handle them all the time while experimenting. And I'm perfectly fine. Aren't I? How about I let you have the leftover chems I used to make Ooh, it? Ooh, chems. Heck, do a thorough job, and maybe I'll let you keep the repellent itself. 
I'll test out the repellent for It'll you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Let's see what you have for Absolutely. Sale. So I don't need a 32 pistol, I don't need a Chinese pistol, I don't like frag mines. Good hunting. See ya. You know what, I think we're just going to blow up Megaton. Since there's a mole rat there, I guess I can use the repellent stick. Right way. 
way, right? actually get this part. What's up guys? Why don't you go bother the brotherhood or something? Move along, please. <laughs> stick isn't going to work on that one. No, we'll save that.
All right, since I don't trust this game, I'm gonna save again. Done with it. What do you need? Got anything for sale? Everything has its price. Take a look and make me an offer. Damaged garden gnome. Another satisfied customer. Later. You live for now. The hell? Dead slave. Ooh, slave map. Of the Union, where the slaves are made into free men. Froze right there. Thirsty. You can tell Ten Penny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. <laughs> Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine, 
I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. I'm really, I'm really not in the mood, so leave me alone. Fine. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? What? Oh. Sorry about that. I thought you were one of those damn ghouls looking for a handout. You are currently trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. You have some reason to be here? I'm here to see Mr. Burke. He's expecting you? Why didn't you say so right away? Just a moment. All right. Come on in. But I warn you, we're watching you. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. Edgar, I'm talking to you. This better be important. Watch yourself. Sorry, dear. Must have dozed off there for a moment. I swear, Edgar. It's in one ear and out the other with you. Do a quick save. You got something to say? How's that ghoul situation coming that along? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. Keenest kind not wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. I can help with your ghoul problem. Where are they hiding out? Really? You? You're welcome to give it a try. But don't come crying to me when you get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart, hmm? How's 500 bottle caps sound? Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. Sure, sounds good. I'd have done it for free. Yeah, right. Good luck, soldier. I'm not coming after you to rescue your ass if you get in trouble. You're on your own. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. Try going through the train yard. Watch your back. And don't trust that Roar Phillips for a second. Ah, yes, Mr. Burke is expecting you. He's waiting for you on the balcony. Don't cause any trouble.
impulse charge is rigged. Excellent. Excellent! Ah, oh, the anticipation is palpable, isn't it? When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. Oh, and mind your eyes, it'll be brighter than bright. Fancy that! A visitor! I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame, because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. So, what do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. You didn't build this tower, you just found it and moved in. Big fucking deal. I say, must you be so caustic? Come now, a lot of work went into turning this husk of a tower into a place people can call home. I've had help, of course. Especially in Mr. Burke, an absolute gem of a man. He certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done. Then it was a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. I've been wondering, why blow up Megaton? I complained offhand one day about how I thought that heap of metal on the horizon was a bit of an eyesore. Mr. Burke offered to take care of it. Burke is such an agreeable man, isn't he? I don't know how I got along without him. I practically don't have to think about things anymore. He takes care of everything. I seldom even have to ask. He's a real go-getter, that one. We need more men like him if we're going to rebuild the world. You've got to clear away the past to make room for the future. Well said, indeed! You've got the entrepreneurial spirit! It gives me hope to see young people such as yourself with real heads on their shoulders. Righto, run along now. Bye-bye, Megaton. to offer him the reward we discussed. Now, all this bright light and wind has given me quite a thirst. Where's my scotch? I'll send someone up as soon as I have complete business with our friend here. Righto, and be quick about it. I haven't been dry in years. I'd hate to start now. My god. What transcendent beauty. What purifying light. <clears throat> uh, allow me to collect myself, as I'm sure you're anxious to collect your payment. I have been asked to extend to you an invitation to reside at Tenpenny Tower. Here's the key and deed to your new master suite. It's on the top floor, first door on your right from the elevator. Enjoy your new accommodations. Oh, and if you wish to spruce the place up a bit, speak with Lydia Montenegro in the boutique Le Chic. <laughs> Thanks again for your part in paving the way towards progress.
Thanks again for your part in paving the way towards progress. Yeah, I can't do that with him sitting right there. You should be proud of your accomplishment. Oh, nice toilets and stuff in here. This is my room. I don't think it is. No, because I got red stuff on it. So which suite is mine? This one? Yes. Okay, so mine has the different door. to introduce myself. I am Godfrey, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Tell me a joke. Yeah, the two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal turns to the other and asks, does this taste funny to you? I'd like a haircut, please. Certainly. I am programmed with a multitude of hair-shaping scenarios. If you would care to choose one, I would be happy to replicate it for you. Oh, no, no. I'd like something to drink. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Oh, that was nice. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. All right, so now that I actually have a place, let's store some stuff here. So what don't I need currently? Laser pistol. Don't need that at the end of this line. It's kind of low. So let's put that. Oh no, that's. Let's go to apparel. Bandana, armor jumpsuit, radiation suit, yeah, I don't have enough, food sanitizer, nothing really important, let's put some weapons in here, so, the submachine gun, no, 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 laser pistol, definitely, and the rifle. Bob. And the sniper rifle. Although that could come in handy. So I'm actually going to take that back. What else do we got here? Oh, bottle cap. Ooh, drugs. Open the door. I need 
tower. I even have my own view. Very nice. Very nice. And I guess I went too fast before it could actually save. So, we're going to be stopping the stream again for a moment.